Hello and welcome to a brand new Godot video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over basically how to double jump in Godot Engine for like a 2D platformer. But this can go along for any type of game that you are making. Albert Adam did ask basically, you're welcome. By the way, you should make a double jump vid in Godot. So that's what we're doing today. To make the double jump here and go to, I'm going to be using the same script that we did for the last video that we made in the last video. So if you have not seen that video, make sure you go watch it so you know basically what we're doing here in this video. Or you can just copy the script, whatever you want to do. But in that video, I'll leave a card right now on screen and I'll leave a description or link in the description so you can go and check out that video. So you can basically know how all this code right here works and what it does before we start the double jump but let's just get started with the double jumping so basically we are going to have to add some more variables one of the main variables we are going to have to add is the jump count because that's basically how this entire thing is going to work so basically what we'll do is we'll just go jump count equals zero because we want it to start at zero and then export so we're going to want to export the variable and we'll name it extra jumps because how many jumps do you want? Like if you want one extra jump after, after your main one, put a one here. If you want a, basically to be able to jump, then jump. That's a double jump. You put one here. If you want to be able to go jump, 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 then you can put like a two here and you'll be able to do that. So just play around with that however you want to go. But variable jump we want here yeah, you know what we'll do just so this is all in the same area we'll go up here copy that and just move the jump variable down you don't have to do that i just want to do that to make it look just a little bit better just like that so here's where we get into the jumping and changing everything i'm just going to copy and paste this uh, up here as its own if function just like that Hold up. there we go just like that and here's where we make the changes so we're going to add two at signs we're going to add our jump count variable and then we want that to be less than our extra jumps so you can't jump more time than what we basically put up here so if this is one extra jump you get one extra jump and as soon as it goes over that, it won't let you jump again. So motion.y equals jump. That's all good. And then we're going to want to, as soon as we do one jump, we're going to want to do our jump count. Whoops. Jump count. Just like that. And then we're going to want to add one to our jump count so we won't be able to jump again after we've already jumped twice. But then over here on this if on floor. So if it's on the floor, we're going to want to go jump jump count and we're gonna just basically want to reset your jump count just like this so this should basically work for the uh, double jump function here in Godot there you go look at that you can double jump and you can't go more than two jumps so you can only jump twice but if you were to go up to the extra jumps here change it to two we'll be able to go one two three jumps and not anymore or if you had some button to where you stepped on the button or clicked a certain button you'd get extra jumps that's very easy to add in as well so basically i'll just do it because why not if input dot is action just pressed uh, we'll go with the ui except basically what would happen is we can go um variable extra extra jumps i normally don't use these types of variables but i'm just using them so you can see basically what's going on for the extra jumps but variable extra jumps and we'll just add one to that and so every my bad my bad here just delete that variable in front of that that should be good there we go yeah there we go so to start we have two if we click enter we have three now if we click enter again we have four so that's if you want to add it to where like if you eat some type of magical fruit or something it gives you one jump that's basically how you do that it's pretty simple to do that but there you go hopefully that helped if you were trying to figure out double jump whenever i first started go to 
double jumping, I mean, it's difficult because, like, here's what I used to do. But, I mean, I, never mind. I don't want to confuse you. But I used to try and put, like, if jump uh, pressed UI up, then it put motion Y equals to jump. And then I put another if statement under that. And if it was clicked again, it jumped. But now I know that this is how you do it. And this is basically how you double jump. Let me extend this so you guys hold up. I'm just going to move some of this stuff around real fast. Just so we can have everything into one frame. Just so you can see the entire. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see the top line and you can see the bottom line just in case you want to copy everything down. But there you go. That's basically yeah, I double jump here and go to if you want any more different type of tutorials, let me know. Also, I'm sorry, my voice probably sounds very weird, but it is it is uh ten forty at night and everybody in my house is sleeping, so I gotta be kinda quiet. But uh next video, I'll do it during the day where I can actually talk. And yeah, but this is basically how you do double jump. Thank you. Thank you, Albert Adam, for commenting that. That really helped me out because double jump is a very difficult technique, kind of, and hopefully that helped you out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if it helped you out at all. And comment down below any different type of Goda tutorials that you want to know. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time in a brand new Goda video. Peace.